So in hard times, it's imperative that we turn our faces to God and uh, cry out unto the God of the universe. And uh, scripture tells us that when people pray, God will listen. When you pray with an earnest heart, and uh, scripture tells us that we can pray and believe God for incredible uh, miracles. I'm talking about miracles beyond even anything that we could even imagine. And so we talked yesterday about Elijah and during these dark times in which he lived and uh, he lived under the reign of King Ahab, very, very wicked king. And uh, Elijah had made a decree. He said, it's not going to rain for three and a half years and there's not even going to be any dew. And of course, this brought a drought and, and very, very severe famine into the land. And as I said yesterday, Elijah was uh, getting along pretty good. He, he was there by the brook chair where God had sent him and the water was flowing and he had plenty of water. Uh, the ravens were bringing him food every day. He had plenty to eat, plenty to drink. He wasn't experiencing what everybody else was experiencing until the brook dried up. And uh, unfortunately, there are many times often uh, in our lives when our personal little brooks will dry up. And uh, I believe there's times when God allows the brook to dry up. I believe God allowed the brook to dry up here because there were other things that Elijah needed to experience. There were other places of ministry that he needed to go. God sent him to a little town by the name of Zarephath. And he said to Elijah, he says, I have a widow woman that I have set aside to sustain you during this dark time and during this famine. Now, that's one of those things that we could just very easily let that just pass on over. But I, I want to Take a little time. Let's just dwell on that for a moment. God said to Elijah, he says, I have provided a widow woman to sustain you. Now, I don't know how that strikes you, but I have a feeling that if I heard those words, I might be a little shy of confidence about that statement. I have prepared a widow woman to sustain you. Because you see, so many times in, in our logic and our thinking, as we approach things with logic and thinking, we we want to we want to look for the big grand thing. <laughs> that 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 big bang that's gonna somehow or another solve everything. But God doesn't always work that way. As a matter of fact, he very seldom works that way. He would prefer to bring a a widow woman into your life. Someone who, when you looked at her, you wouldn't think that she was the answer to the life situations and problems in which you are facing because it doesn't meet the criteria of the of the big and the bold and the, and the just tremendous that's just going to give us all that great confidence. But no, you see, you have to see it as the way God sees it. And sometimes that just requires we have to get the human out of the way. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast. <laughs> 